Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's all doing well. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the two big lightweight fights taking this uh, taking place this weekend. Uh, Javante Davis versus Isaac Cruz. Um, in my opinion, if I'm being totally honest with you, I think this is a, I think this is an easy fight for Javante Davis. Uh, I don't see Isaac Cruz being very competitive in this fight. He's very tough uh, and game, and he, I'm sure he's going to come to fight. But um, just based off of you know skills and abilities, I don't think he's near Tank Davis's uh, level. Uh, Isaac Cruz, he's a stereotypical uh, Mexican pressure fighter. He's going to come forwards. He's going to be aggressive. He's going to look to go to the body, throw a lot of punches, bring the volume. Um, he has got power, but he's a very predictable uh, fighter. He loads up on all of his shots, wastes a lot of energy. Uh, hasn't got the greatest head movement um, doesn't really use his jab or feint his way in which in my opinion those are all you know not uh, not mistakes you want to make when fighting a puncher like Javante Davis uh, I will say Isaac Cruz if he somehow happens to be you know able to take Davis's power for 12 rounds then he could uh, possess a threat in this fight if he can kind of just walk through Javante's power and be able to get get up on him and apply a lot of physical pressure and try wear Davis down and make the fight very physical and maybe you know wear down Javante Davis and stop him however I think that's very unlikely Javante Davis has um, you know the type of power that could put a dent in most people's chins uh, however Cruz does look to be very physically strong and durable but like I say I don't think he'll be able to take Davis's power for a full 12 rounds now Cruz I think, like I say, he's going to come in aggressive. He's going to look to try and apply pressure on Davis, try to go to his body a little bit, try and make the fight rough and tough, probably use his head a bit on the inside. But I think, um, you know, he's a bit too slow in my opinion. Uh, like I said, doesn't jab or feint his way in, which is not, it's not, uh, it's not ideal when fighting Davis. I think he's going to walk into a, you know, a huge shot coming in, get caught coming in and probably get uh, knocked out or stopped some point in this fight like I say I'm not sure whether it'll be early or late because um, we'll see how well he can take Davis's power if you can take the power I think he'll probably get stopped late um, because Ch the Tank Davis is very good at uh, breaking his opponents down over 12 rounds uh, he's similar to Canelo in the fact that you know he's an aggressive counter puncher uh, with a great punch selection that doesn't really waste any shots or waste any energy makes you work hard doesn't really uh like i say waste any shots breaks you down punch by punch every shot you know he's throwing has a purpose and you know has power on it uh tank davis in my opinion is you know pretty underrated by a lot of boxing fans who look at him as just a puncher i think um he has a very underrated boxing iq underrated defense i think he has an underrated jab he can fight both on the inside and outside got great power both to the head and the body um you know, like I say, he can box on the back foot. Uh, got a good jab on the outside, both to the head and body. On the inside, he shortens up his shots really well. Got good defense, uh, good counter puncher, good reflexes, and obviously great power. So, my opinion, Tank is levels above Isaac Cruz. Javante is a you know versatile fighter, whereas Isaac Cruz is very um, predictable. Uh, obviously, can only fight one way. Can't fight going backwards. I don't think. And I think we might see that in this fight. I think early in the fight, maybe Javante will come out and look to box a little bit. Um, start, uh, use his jab, use his movement early on. Probably just to have a look at Isaac Cruz. Uh, figure out the angles on Cruz's looping shots. Um, see if how hard Cruz punches. And you know, probably after a couple rounds, we'll probably see Javante start to uh, stand his ground. Um, and start to uh, look to uh, um, push Cruz back because I don't think Cruz can fight on the back foot. And on the inside, to be honest, even if Cruz like, is applying pressure and trying to get on the inside with Javante Davis, I don't think he's a better inside fighter than Davis. I think Javante will sit there on the inside, put a shoulder up on him, catch, catch a lot of uh, Cruz's uh, hooks and uh, you know, body shots on his arms, on his, on his gloves, on his shoulder, on his elbows and you know kind of punch on the inside with hard hooks and short uppercuts on the inside uh, which Davis does extremely well um, Isaac Cruz looks like he might have a you know pretty solid chin but um, often guys with those 
you know, good chins. They can't really take it to the body too well, or nobody can really take it to the body too well if they get hit in the right spot. Um, so I won't be shocked if Davis stops Isaac Cruz to the body in this fight with a, you know, a short shot to the body on the inside, either, you know, a left uppercut or something to the body on the inside. But um, like I say, at some point in this fight, I think Davis will stop Isaac Cruz. Um, I think he's just too skilled and, you know, on another level to Isaac Cruz in terms of boxing uh, boxing skills and boxing ability. But Cruz is very tough and very game. I think it's going to be a very entertaining fight. Cruz will certainly, you know, come to fight, bring a lot of pressure and try and knock out Javante Davis. But I think, unfortunately for him, I think he's going to be the one getting knocked out uh, on the weekend. That's how I see the fight playing out, guys. I don't really see it as a competitive matchup. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you think I'm wrong. But um, I just can't really see Isaac Cruz having really any success in this fight. I don't think he has the ability to even get on the inside against Javante Davis unless Davis is comfortable letting him get on the inside in order to set him up for, you know, a short shot on the inside, you know, one of his uh, vicious uppercuts or something. Because Cruz, to me, he doesn't really have the the foot speed or the the footwork or the head movement to uh, be able to cut off the ring on Javante Davis and to get past Davis's, you know, hard right jab. Um, and I don't think he has the, uh, you know, the boxing IQ to be able to set up his shots from the outside and box with Davis there. So Davis has the height and reach advantage in this fight. I think Javante Davis could win this fight pretty much any way he wants to. I think he's better than Cruz at Cruz's own game. And then obviously, you know, the much more skilled boxer on the outside. So I don't see uh, Cruz really being able to have any success in this fight. But let me know in the comment section below, am I overlooking Isaac Cruz? Um, same way I just overlooked George Cambosis the previous weekend and, you know, got shown up there. So let me know in the comment section below, am I wrong here? Uh, let me know how you guys see the fight playing out and what your guys' thoughts are on this fight. Is it a, is it a cherry pick in your opinion? I know he was supposed to fight uh, Rolando Romero and, you know, some accusations came up against him. He got pulled out from the fight. In my opinion, that was also a bit of a mismatch and a, a pretty easy fight for Javante Davis. I think um, Tank's management uh, team are doing a pretty uh, tremendous job at, you know, picking the guys who he fights because, in my opinion, he struggles most against guys that... Uh, you know, have really good uh, boxing skills, boxing IQs, are able to, you know, really fight from the outside and, you know, use a lot of movement against him. I think those, those are the type of fighters that give him trouble, you know, like a Devin Haney, uh, a Shakur Stevenson, uh, Vassal Lomachenko. I think those are the, you know, the stylistic uh, matchups that give him the most trouble, in my opinion. Guys like uh, Rolando Romero and Isaac Cruz, who lack boxing uh, skills and, and uh, boxing IQ, in my opinion, they're kind of tailor-made for, you know, a puncher like Davis, who is also highly skilled. You know, I think Davis needs to be matched against somebody more skilled than him if we're going to see him uh, have any trouble. Because if he's matched uh, up against guys with less boxing ability and less boxing IQ than him, uh, you know, they're going to be in for a bit of trouble because they probably can't punch as hard as him and he's more skilled than them. So I think that's the way I see this fight going. Javante Davis is the harder puncher of the two with a lot better you know, boxing IQ and a lot better boxing skills, both defense, jab, everything, uh, footwork. In my opinion, this is a mismatch. Let me know in the comment section below what your guys' thoughts are on this fight. Thanks for listening. Talk to you guys again soon. Cheers.